Today we're at Del Vista Math and Science Academy, home of the dragons, and we're here to... Well, today we're at Del Vista Math and Science Academy. We've got some fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Oh, no, we only have fourth and fifth, right? Yeah. Sixth graders out with them today, huh? Yeah. All right, just the fourth and fifth graders are going to work today. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, work with some pattern blocks. Have you guys ever used pattern blocks or have ever seen them before? Yeah. yeah. We see them. You've seen them before? Yeah. Never worked with them, though? No. Yeah. A little bit. I'm sure you guys have. You guys are in fourth and fifth grade. I'm sure you guys have used these at some point in your life already. All right? So I'm just going to start... Putting some out, you guys can kind of spread them out amongst yourselves, all right? All right. So. Well, I'll spread them all out. Here, we'll give them the whole thing. There you go. And you get the rest of them, all right? So, here's what I want you guys to do, all right? First of all, what I want you to do is I want you to make me something, anything at all. All right, I'll give you a minute. What? Is that too long? Uh, no, that's so short. I'm it's too short. You know what? It's a long time if you think about it. Right. So I'm going to have you start now. You have one minute. Make something. Anything at all that you like. Team or separate? Separate. Because you guys are going to be doing some things in teams in a little bit. But right now, make anything you want. You have one minute. What are you working on over here? At this point, I have no idea. At this point, you have no idea? <laughs> well, what kind of, if you had to give that a name, this is your piece of art, what would you name that? The legs are an axe. It's like, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to. I don't know what I'm even building. So you think these look like legs? Yeah. All right, so if these are legs, what would these be? Look at my face. Human legs. Hey, what about these? Arms. Right. What about that? <laughs> what about that? Uh -huh. right, there you go. I thought you were going to have a two-headed person there for a second. That'd be pretty cool, though, huh? What have you got? A flower. And that does look like a flower, too, doesn't it? Nicely done. What have you got over here? I've got lots of stuff. Lots of stuff? A throne. I've got some girls over here that have dresses and then this is all. Okay. Right here I have a pyramid of sculpture. And right here is just a bed. Very nice. See, and you thought that it was going to be too short of time, right? Yeah. Look at how many things you made in a minute. And what have you got? A uh, triangle. <laughs> You've got a larger triangle, right? Yeah, what you're doing. There you go, out of different pieces, right? Yeah. And what have you got over on the end? Me? Uh huh. Um, I have a flower, a heart, and turkey. turkey. <laughs> it looks like, like a turkey. random piece I tried making. There you go. Like All right. So let's take a look at some of the properties of these blocks. Okay. What are some things you notice? So if you notice any particular shapes, tell me what they are. Does anybody, can anybody identify any of these shapes? Just the blocks themselves, all by themselves. Triangles, a diamond. squares. Okay. Diamond. So a diamond, which one do you think, do you call a diamond? I call it. Is there another name for that? Mm. There is. Does anybody know the under, another name for that shape? Mm. This one? Right, so she's talking about this one right here. What kind of angles are in here? If you, where are the acute angles? They're on the end, right? Yeah. How do you know those are acute? What does acute mean? Because it's small and obtuse is over big and this is a right angle. Okay. And what are the measurements on those? Like, how do you know which is which? Because, like, an acute angle is, um, like, 40 degrees and obtuse angle is, like, 100 and, like, it's 15 degrees and, like, a right angle is 90 degrees. There you go. So, what was the last one you said? 
90. 90 degrees. That's the key, right? You guys all know that right angles are 90 degrees. So if it's less than 90 degrees, it's a what? Acute angle. Acute. And if it's larger than 90 degrees, it's? Obtuse. Obtuse, right? So that's one thing to look at, all right? Is there a shape that has all right angles? Square. Square. The square does, right? They're all right angles, okay? Yeah. Now, you were just holding this up. Do you know what this is, that shape? Mm, I think a hexagon. You I think, think a hexagon? Octagon. Why do you octagon. think that? An octagon. An octagon. Well, which one is it? Because it has, I think, uh, one, two, three, four, I think four, it's four. a hexagon because Wait. it has six sides. Because oh, yeah. you said hexagon first, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you sure you counted them all? Because if we keep on going like this, aren't they all the same? <sighs> How do you know when to stop? Because... I'm only kidding. It's a hexagon. Okay. How many angles are there in a triangle? Three. What do they all have to add up to? How many degrees are in a triangle? Ninety. Ninety for a right angle. But in any triangle, all of the angles have to add up to how many degrees? You guys know that? One hundred eighty degrees. Okay. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah. Okay. So. What the kids are doing is first taking a look at the pattern blocks and finding some patterns with them, looking at the shapes, the sides, the angles, and what they have in common and what is different about them. We're doing it at Del Vista Math and Science Academy.